And across the water from the Tennessee State Capitol building, there's a look at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints. Now whistles and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off play action, Tannehill. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, we're always talking about the athleticism we see from these guys on the field. How about the intelligence as well? He recognized that there was a screen pass on that one, broke off his pass rush, and got back to tackle the running back. That's great scouting and great reaction. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. A former volunteer back in Tennessee, it's Alvin Kamara. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. On second and nine, Winston toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. Jameis to throw it. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. And the punt team on now as this one set away. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And it'll be Titan football. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second and five now. Tannehill. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Marcus Davenport coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth.
Here's Brent Kern now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Shoves him away. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Off the play fake, Winston. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Winston now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this punt sails over the sideline, and the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Pick up about four. It's second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day the run got four now they deal with a second and six a toss left henry and he's going to be met at about the 43 we're scoreless after one I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On third down, Henry. It looks like he's going to be stopped short of the first down by about a yard. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. They'll run for it with Henry. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. I yeah. mean, you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit. He is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. 
And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, here's Henry. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. 61 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Here we go now on first and goal. Henry. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Now a handoff to Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in from four yards out as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Extra point by McCann. Up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. McCann's got it teed up. On the return, Deontay Harris. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. On first and 10, Winston. And his throw is incomplete. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Working out of the gun, Winston. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. Man open here is Jones. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A big 
connection on that one. 30 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. From just shy of midfield, Tannehill. He's got the tight end, Furkser, right side complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Tannehill on third down. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Winston now from the 50. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. Bud Dupree showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. Now a second down throw for Winston. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing, Winston. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. On first down, Tannehill, complete to Jones. The Titans gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Tennessee offense set to go again. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. From the 40 now on second down, Tannehill. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Tannehill on first down. The former Longhorn Marcus Johnson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Come up now on second and a yard. Tannehill throwing again. That's complete to his tight end, Ferkser. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Winston to give, it's Kamara. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Winston. the football it's picked up by the titans and his guys will take over at the 30 yard line following the fumble recovery Tannehill looking downfield for jones open man julio touchdown tennessee julio jones 30 yards and the titans capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six and now before we get to the extra point remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official so they called it a touchdown originally and this will stay a touchdown after the video review so they had it right McCann's got it teed up. Here comes Deontay Harris from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw is Winston. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Watch, 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 
Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw, Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary here. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. That will go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And a nice stiff arm, it opens room to run. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 74 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down, they go again with Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. Found good room to run there, returns it 14 yards. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 44, Winston. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. Fighting his way through contact. Oh, he sheds himself free. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A big gain there on third and long. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because... They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have, to have a few men in the box there. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. First down, Winston. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Thomas. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. They've done a great job of doing that. From the 16, Winston. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. That catch good for five. It's third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. On third and one, here's Winston. Steps away to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jameis Winston taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Saints are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Well, the defensive coverage was good. So good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder, is the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Lutz good on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. That's it. That's what you want. Straight-ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he slips up past the 45 -0. 97 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. That carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. Oh, look at the juke. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Demario Davis there on the stop. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine.
Now an option play on second down. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Tannehill. He's got a man. It's Berkser, the tight end. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play Again, it's Henry. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. On third down. It's Henry, and he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Tannehill to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zero. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it was their defense that really paved the way.